On the vast plains of Africa, a myriad of life unfolds, painting a vibrant picture. Wild animals each possess their own secrets to survival. The warthog, armed with sharp tusks and agile movements. The leopard, known for its burst of speed and exquisite hunting skills. Competition and combat are inevitable, so when the leopard and the warthog faces off in battle, what will the ultimate outcome be? Terrifying clash of leopards being hunted and defeated mercilessly by ferocious warthogs. The Serengeti ecosystem, stretching across the African landscape, is one of the most diverse and abundant ecosystems in the world that is home to numerous wild species. The Saba family has also inhabited this land for generations. Mastery in climbing is one of the hunting secrets that Saba has learned. It can gracefully ascend trees, moving lightly to stalk the prey. The Saba hunts its prey in the trees or swiftly ambushes from above. On the ground, Saba's burst of running speed is enough to outpace its prey. Saba's hunting trips always end swiftly. And sometimes, the Saba mischievously plays with its prey before deciding to hoist it up a tree for consumption, avoiding the preying eyes of other predators. Not as noisy or aggressive as many other predators, but with exquisite skills, the Saba still instills fear in many animals. Not far from the forest where Saba resides lays in the Okavango River, a haven for grass-eating animals, especially during the rainy season. However, when the dry season arrives, the living environment around the Okavango River becomes extremely harsh, while other herbivores opt for migration to seek food and water. The warthogs rarely move because they can adapt well to survive in harsh conditions. They can use their robust snouts and sharp hooves to dig in search for food. Beneath the thick layer of soil, they swallow in mud to soothe their skin and even cooperate with mongooses to help chase away insects. Not only in the dry season, but warthogs can also easily adapt to any weather conditions or living environments. The life of a warthog would perhaps always be smooth and peaceful if they were not targeted by other predators. The dawn slowly breaks, rays of light emerge, dispelling the darkness in the sky. As the sunlight illuminates the activities of the animal kingdom, the Saba's graceful steps, blending seamlessly with the burnt grass, seem unaffected.
just a moment of carelessness, and the prey will immediately fall into the Saba's claws. But the stalking and sudden attack techniques Saba employs when hunting baboons or impalas are just basic hunting skills. When the Saba hunts the prey in trees, it is a truly magnificent performance. It has flexible body and exquisite climbing ability ensures that no prey in the trees can escape the Saba's keen eye. And it is also thanks to this exquisite climate ability that Saba has devised a hunting technique few species can emulate. The Saba will ascend tall tree branches and lay in wait for its prey. When the impala is in the right position, it leaps from above, successfully ambushing its prey. Its flexible body has helped the Saba even when jumping straight down from a height. Saba has impressed with its unique hunting techniques but in reality, they weren't naturally adept hunters. When young, the Saba didn't excel in climbing or hunting. It had to undergo a learning process for those survival skills from its mother leopard. The early stages of life are always challenging. There were times when the Saba fell from trees due to unrefined climbing skills or failed in hunting, but it never gave up. The threat from other predators was also a challenge that a young Saba had to face. A male leopard trespassed into the territory with intentions to attack the cub. Directly confronting a male leopard at that time was a little bit impossible for the Saba. Fortunately, the mother detected the intruder in time and swiftly drove it away. Thanks to its mother, the Saba was safely protected from the intruder. Thus, the Saba gradually grew under the protective embrace of its mother until it could separate and live independently. Through the diligent practice, the Saba has now mastered both tree climbing and hunting techniques. The impala prey resisted fiercely, but with much experience, the Saba successfully pinned it down to the ground and completely subdued it. Not only a palace, but it seems that every grass-eating animal Saba encounters is easily hunted by it, except for the warthogs. This species puts up such fierce resistance at times that Saba struggles to handle it. The first time they met, when Saba attacked a young warthog, it was fiercely retaliated against a mother warthog, delivering a painful blow. However, in the end, 
the Saba still successfully hunted the baby warthog. The second time Saba approached a young warthog for a prey, the mother warthog launched the familiar attack. However, the Saba quickly climbed the tree with its prey to escape. On the third occasion, the Saba couldn't even hunt a warthog. Faced with the fierce protection of the warthog family, the Saba could only helplessly watch its prey escape. Saba has missed the warthog not just once but several times. Sometimes, the sudden swift reaction of the warthog catches the Saba off guard. Despite patiently stalking the prey from a distance, as soon as Saba approaches the strike, the warthog immediately senses danger and flees at an incredibly fast pace. If Saba were to give up hunting warthogs just because of encountering difficulties, it would indeed lose its appeal. Although hunting warthogs pose a challenge for Saba, with its excellent adaptability, it'll devise even more unique hunting methods to deal with this elusive prey. One of these methods is stealthily stalking and then ambushing the warthog right at its death, catching them off guard. Saba has successfully hunted the warthogs using this approach. After tracking the warthog for a while longer, Saba gradually learned to control this fierce prey. Despite the warthog's repeated attempts to escape the Saba's clutches, it never succeeded. Every time the warthog seemed on the verge of breaking free, Saba would firmly pin it to the ground. The fierce resistance from the warthog now proved futile against the Saba's intelligence and cunning hunting techniques. So from this point forward, Saba wouldn't allow the warthog any opportunity to escape. All the prey had now been subdued. However, the prolonged dry season brought forth a new challenge for the Saba. In the drought, food becomes scarce, as the Saba had to find a new target in order to continue surviving. Nothing is too difficult for a quick learner. The Saba learned to hunt fish from the elephant herds. With this new source of food, the Saba could endure for a while longer. Surviving, however, was just a temporary measure. The dry season persisted. The river water would eventually dry up, and fish would become scarce. At this point, the Saba began to have a shift in the mindset. It didn't only hunt familiar preys as before, but also targeted a prey that never considered before. This was the first time it chose to hunt the young of the notorious hunting bird species. The eagle, perched over 20 meters high on fragile tree branches, a slight misstep could send the Saba tumbling down at any moment. Yet, 
Its agility enabled Saba to successfully hunt the eagle fledglings when their mothers were away. Every day, Saba sets new challenges for itself, believing that only diversifying its food sources could help it survive through the prolonged dry seasons. One afternoon, while the Saba was on the lookout for new unfamiliar prey, it encountered a porcupine. This peculiar prey was rare to find on the savannah. Curiosity drove the Saba to approach the prey. As a result, the porcupine in self-defense left sharp quills embedded in Saba's body before retreating. At last, the dry season had to come to an end, and the herbivores returned to the forest. Although the Saba couldn't now hunt a variety of different preys, warthogs remains the most impressive and familiar to it. With the experience of hunting warthogs numerous times, the Saba managed to catch one with relative ease, together with its companion. It enjoyed a satisfying meal. With the hunting skills accumulated over time, now there is no prey that can stand in the Saba's way. It is only by chance that it is praised as a skilled hunter. The Saba's success today are a result of its endless capacity for learning, perseverance, and patience as well. Although it encountered some difficulties along the way, it was through determination, refusing to give up halfway, that Saba finally achieved what it desired. So after all is said and done, the Saba remains the most successful hunter in the forest where it resides. The wild world continues to operate by its own unique roles, as vividly demonstrated in this video through Saba's journey. Despite reaching a level few animals can emulate, Saba must continue to struggle daily for a place in nature both now and in the future. The battle between the Saba and the Warthog is also a testament to the laws of nature. However, this doesn't imply that these laws are immutable. Survival instincts drive animals to fight for existence. Not only leopards and warthogs in the wild that are fighting, but there are still many fierce battles between predators and prey. All are fighting for one purpose, survival. Keep your eyes on the screen and continue watching the most brutal battles in the wild that we just compiled. And do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications bell. You should always stay in tune with more of our upcoming wildlife videos. Until then, see you again. Hello everyone, welcome to Vista Safari channel. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. Let us know in the comment section which moment you love the most. Do not forget to share, like and subscribe to the channel to always stay tuned with any of our upcoming videos. See you soon.